But somebody said that it gives you a more in-depth way of how you're supposed to think. But if you just say nature, it's like, okay, nature, trees, stuff like that. But if you add more to it, it gives people more to think about. Or increase your emotional capacity. For example, the Odyssey of Love, meaning the long, adventurous journey of love. Create. This part, you have to select the right words. Don't be afraid to use a dictionary or a thesaurus, because this is your beginner. You have to help yourself to expand on what you want to talk about. Now, style. You can pick a haiku, style, sonnet, or a quote. Sweet, short and sweet. And have some poetry. Lyrical, narrative, and dramatic. Dramatic would be like Edgar Allan Poe. Lyrical would be like um, Shakespeare. And narrative is like you telling a story. You're not in it, but you're telling a story, if you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. Read and practice. Read and practice. If you read and practice, you'll be able to understand what you are talking about. Because sometimes you get lost in uh, what you're writing. But if you read and practice, you'll be able to move with confidence and speak with confidence because you know what you're talking about. Now, to go back and edit any mistakes. <clears throat> your grammar, your spelling, and always practice your poem. Lastly, delivery. Last step. Now, on delivery, this is important as well as being inspired. Because when you're get to deliver, your physical presence has to be confident so your audience can feel or be like, okay, I'm ready to hear what you're about to say. And your voice and articulation should be clear. When it comes to your voice and articulation, you should be able to move through how your words flow. Like when you practice it, you become the poem, if you understand, you become the poem. And when, you, when your voice flows with the poem, everybody can visualize or understand like, okay, this was intense, this was mellow. Um, dramatic appropriateness. This is when you add dramatic uh, gestures. But not every word needs a hand gesture. You can move, you can give a, an action, or like simple hand gestures just to give them a, a direction of how of where you're going. <laughs> Evidence of understanding that okay, when you're reading a poem, you should read it in a way of, I wrote the poem, therefore I understand what I'm talking about. And your audience, your audience can see if you understand what you're talking about because in the way you present yourself and how you talk about it. If you present a poem and you hesitate, they're like, okay, he's not talking to what he's talking about because he's not sure what he's talking about. But if you have confidence and talk, you always seem like, okay, you know what he's talking about. I can relate to this guy. And conclusion. It's okay if you're redundant. Just make it your own. Meaning, not everything you write is original. It has been written before, but just do it your way and make it your own. 